Let's talk a little bit about a truck set. What is in a, a truck set? So hopefully you've seen our other videos and uh, a rail car will have, will have this truck set, right? So a truck set um, is this entire thing here, right? This whole, whole assembly here. You see we have quite a few truck sets right now. So a truck set uh, is comprised of two wheel sets. Well, let me back up a little bit. So uh, uh, a rail car will have, a typical rail car, there's a rail car there, will have two truck sets. A truck set here and a truck set over, you know, way over on that side. So two truck sets. Now in each truck set, there are two wheel sets. There's a wheel set there and a wheel set there. Let me go over here and show you what a wheel set is. Okay, so a wheel set consists of two wheels. There's a, you can see it's a wheel here. It's pressed on wheel, right? Wheel there, wheel over there has uh, two roller bearings. Um, those do roll and probably tight over there. And you see it does roll. Roller bearings, they're really good roller bearings on these things, All right? So two roller bearings and one axle, okay? So a truck set has two wheel sets. A wheel set has two wheels, one axle and two roller bearings, okay? So a truck set will have four roller bearings. There's a roller bearing here, there, there, over there. So there's four roller bearings in a truck set, and there's eight roller bearings on a complete car set. So car set would be that truck set and that truck set. So car set is two truck sets. A truck set has two wheel sets, okay? So, so these are the wheel sets here. Okay, one, two. Okay, additionally, uh, it's kind of neat. Um, this is, a, this is called the truck bolster that sits on top of the rail car's body bolster. Okay, you have this pin inside here. Uh, let me pull that pin out for you, see, see what it looks like. Sometimes these things are locked inside there. Sometimes they'll be, um, right inside here, there'll be like a little slot that goes all the way through that, that, that a pin gets uh, inserted through and there's, a, there's actual lock mechanism inside there. So that's kind of... Um, not very common. Let's see if you can see what it looks like inside there. No, too dark. Okay. Uh, this little thing here is a is a non-metallic wear liner. It helps the rail car to uh, to slide on that a little easier. You can see it does get worn out. Uh, it does happen. It also has a a metal liner as well. That's this piece right here. Um, so as this thing wears down. It won't really damage the, uh, the truck bolster. It'll damage just that wear liner. And it also, you can also see here, this is actually a pretty good side frame, a, a truck bolster. This is also a ring here uh, that, that was welded on this thing. And they did a, a really good job with that. Okay, so this, this truck set, this body bolster, I'm sorry, this truck bolster has been worked on because uh, you know it has that wear liner. Uh, that steel liner is good and uh, so is that there. As that rail car moves around, it's, it, the rail car is like a bowl it sits inside here, and it kind of moves around over the years, you know, over the, all those miles, and it wears down uh, on the truck bolster, and then it also um, makes that makes that bowl there a bit oblong. Okay, um, so that's the um, that's a truck bolster. Okay, uh, the other major component is the side frame. This is a side frame here. There's also an identical side frame over here. So there's two side frames, okay? You can see some of these side frames that we get are, uh, uh, they're, they're still have their stickers on them, which means they're fairly new. Same thing with this, with this wheel set here. It still has some of the uh, stickers when it was applied. Okay, so side frame. Then you have, um, these are called brake beams here. Um, this is called a, a left hand brake beam only because if you were to stand this uh, stand this brake beam you know if you were to lift it up um, you would uh, you would stick your left hand inside that pocket you know, so, so if you were to shake hands with it if that brake beam was if that brake beam was standing up so that, you know it's kind of up like this uh, and if you walk up to it, the way that that slot is oriented, you would stick your left hand inside of there. So that's called a left hand brake beam. And this is a right hand brake beam. Because again, if you were to 
I guess I can even stand on it. Show you it that way. So that slot there, this slot right here on, on the brake beam, um, only my right hand would slip into it easily. So that's a right hand brake beam. And you can see this one, my right hand would not go into it. My left hand would go into it, you know, if I was shaking its sand, so that's a left hand brake beam. Okay, so same thing with this one over here. You can see this one on this side, it's a left hand. And this one's going to be a right hand, right inside there. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so those are the brake beams, right? And then you have all these different brake levers. That's a brake rod. You, know, you see we cut off the brake rod. Um, and uh, it, we do have what adapts the, uh, the 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 side frame to the wheel set are these um, roller bearing adapters. You can see them right inside here. That, that, that's what connects those two or adapts those two. All right, let me hop down and then uh, show you the other few components. So we have springs, right? There, there's a oops, there's a whole bunch of springs. Right now they're loose because there's there's hardly any weight on this at all this only th thing whole thing only weighs maybe you know 8,000 pounds or so so it, there's hardly any weight on that so these are all called truck springs uh, inside here that's called a uh, friction casting okay that's a friction casting on that side there are a few different styles of friction castings um, you can see here if you look at the top there's just a little uh, hardly any of that friction casting is sticking out that's called a, a barber style. Then they're over here. You can see this is called a ride control. So a little bit different. You can see inside there a lot more of that casting sticks up. Let me see if I can get a little better picture on that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. So you can see up inside here, it shows a lot more of the casting and there's actually a, um, a spring you can see right inside here this little pocket there, there you can see the top of that spring so there's a friction casting that goes all the way up inside the friction casting whereas on the uh on the barber that's a ride control that's a ride control over there that's that's a ride control over there let me find a barber so that's a ride control Okay, I guess we'll go back to this first one. So you should be able to tell from that one, that one's a that one's a barber. Okay, so on these barbers, you'll have a you'll have a truck spring that goes up underneath the, the casting. Okay. Uh, what else is uh, we have these adapters here? There's these wear adapters. These do get wore out. So instead of um instead of the wear going to the side frame or the roller bearing. Uh, the, uh, or the roller bearing adapter, the wear just goes, wears out the, this this wear plate. That's a pretty inexpensive fit. That just kind of clips on there. Um, no welding, no welding required. Okay, what else is? Oh, uh, brake shoes to the, on the brake beam. That's those right there. That's a composite. That's one of the very few things that's non-metallic that does get sent to the landfill when uh, when we get the rail cars. Obviously, there's no need. For, uh, for brake shoes to be reused. It's, it's not worth it. Okay. Um, oh, these are your, your side bearings. So when the rail car sits on here, the rail car uh, comes, the body bolster comes up and there's a plate that goes up and over this. Um, this just keeps the car, um, the car does have a little bit of movement as it's well, the rail car steered. So it does have a little bit of rocking movement. So that just helps maintain and control that movement um, too much of a of a gap and the car starts wanting to rock way too much too little um, You can potentially you know the, the, the car can be lifted up off the bolster if it's taking a, an odd turn or if the car is twisting a little bit So uh, typically about a quarter inch is what you'd see on on either side ideally use a quarter inch travel uh, um, from, uh, from side to side Okay, and that is a truck set Let's see, uh, let's just take a look around, see if I see anything else that's worth talking about. You can see there's a, 
fairly new axle there. Now these are all pretty much the same. This is you know same kind of side bearing, same kind of bolster. You can see this is a a ride control, and you look at even there, it even says a ride control, but that's that's what the ride control friction casting looks like. Okay, still has same uh, similar type of springs underneath there. They're either D3s or D5s. Um, same kind of uh, brake beams. This is a little different, uh, but uh, that's just part of the the the, um, the brake beam and the anti sway stuff. Nice, uh, really nice brake shoes there. Look how nice those things look. I can't uh, really think of uh, anything else to show you guys here. These are all pretty much look the same. I'll look at that. That looks, uh, that looks brand spanking new. That, those are nice looking. Now oh, here's a truck set with a, with a wheel missing. Let's go take a look at that, huh? That's a little different. Okay, so you can see, here's this wear liner I was talking about. So that you can just pop off that wear liner right there. I don't want to take it off because uh, I'm gonna have to put it back on. So let's leave that liner on there. All right, nice, uh, nice brake shoe. Um, to move the brake shoe, you just pull this little lever here, and, you know, pull that lever. Well, I guess I can go ahead and figure out. So pull that off. Okay brake shoe key and then the brake shoe comes off so that's a brake shoe there ta-da that's what it looks like without the brake shoe I'll go ahead and pop this liner off that's what the liner looks like okay and there's um different wear indicators up underneath there that tells you when it has to be Reconditioned, but we won't go into that. Okay, if you look at this um, brake beam, you can tell that's a right hand brake beam. A little bit different uh, side bearing assembly. All right, well, we have plenty of, uh, of parts. That's all there is to it.